Hello everybody and welcome to another awesome Haiti video. My name is Jennifer and here on YouTube I go by Gizmo Spike. And in today's video I would like to talk to you guys about the next event that is coming into the game. So if you have already played the birthday event and the colors event and the most recent event which was the Oktoberfest event you will already be familiar with the event that is coming to the game which is going to be the moon cake festival and it's going to be that same style of event which is kind of like that road event i don't really know exactly what to call it it doesn't as far as I'm aware, it does not have an official name of the style, um, but it kind of reminds me of like a road, a road of rewards. So um, that is what is coming, the Moon Cake Festival. It's going to be a little bit different than the previous event, which was the Oktoberfest event, as it's going to be much, much shorter. So originally the Moon Cake Festival was supposed to be a four day event, but now it is actually going to just be a three day event. So it is going to start tomorrow, Friday, September 29th, and it is going to end on Sunday, October 1st. So you're only gonna have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to do your tasks and to get all of your points in order to collect all of the rewards that are gonna be here on this road. So these are going to be, what you see here are going to be the exact rewards that you will get in this event. So you will get three of um, these super cute moon cake tiles, you will get some coins and I believe that the coins are going to be based on a percentage um, relative to your farm level. So the farm that I'm on right now is a level 117 um, and it has 178,940 coins. So if you are a lower level, you're going to have less coins. If you are a higher level, you should have more coins. All right. And then the third threshold is you're going to have the moon cake balloon. You're going to get two of those. And then a single puzzle piece. And then for the, what is this, the fifth reward here, you're going to get five of the chick vouchers. When I saw that it was five chick vouchers, I honestly was very, very shocked. Um, but shocked in a good way. I'm really, really excited about the five. So thank you, Heyday. And then um, the next reward is going to be this cute little moon cake table and then a Tom booster. And then if you reach the last threshold, you're going to get this moon cake statue. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the amount of points that you see here on this little road, this is not going to be the amount of points that you need in order to get each one of these rewards. You do need more. Um, I am in the dev build right now, um, and it is not quite right. So I will give you guys the correct amounts that you will need for each threshold. And so for this first one, basically it's, it's double. So for this first one, you're gonna need 200 points. For the second one, 400. For the third one, you're gonna need 1,000, so a little bit more than double. For the puzzle piece, you are going to need 2,000 points. For the five chick vouchers, you are going to need 3,500 points. For the table, you're going to need 5,000 points. For the Tom voucher, you're going to need 7,000 points. And then for the very last prize, which is the Mooncake statue, you're going to need 9,000 points. Now, like I said, we're only gonna have three days to get all of these points. Um, we're going to have 20 tasks that we can do each day. So once you've done those 20 tasks, unless you want to pay diamonds to get a new task on your board, you're not going to have any more tasks to do. So you can pay 10 diamonds to get a, another task if you'd like to, but in my opinion, I personally don't think that we should be spending diamonds on this event. 
if you plan accordingly, there should be no reason. So basically you're going to have 60 tasks that you need to do over the course of three days in order to get 9,000 points. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to be easy, but I do believe that it is achievable. You need 3,000 points every single day. Well, an average at least. Um, And that means in order to get those, that each task of your 20 tasks needs to average 150 points. Now, not every single one of your tasks is going to be 150 points. So you can see the board that it has presented to me right now in the game. These all happen to be higher point tasks, but there's still one here, which is the adult cat or feed the adult cat. And that's only hundred points. So, but you have ones that are higher. That's 180, that's 160, 170, 170. So hopefully over the course of the 20 tasks that you get, they're going to balance out and you will hopefully get 3000 points per day. You might be a little bit shy of 3000 points, maybe the first day, but then get, you know, 3,500 on the second day. So it should hopefully all balance out. Um, but you are only going to have the three days and the 60 tasks, 20 tasks per day in order to get all of the points that you need to get everything here on your reward road. I'm just going to call it the reward road because I don't know what else to call it. Now, I know that a lot of you guys gave up on the Oktoberfest event, and I'm sure that there are some of you guys watching this video right now that are probably going to be like, you know, I'm not even going to try for on this event because it's too hard and, you know, I can't use my machines the way that I want to. And I do agree with you. Um, I like these events, but I do believe that they've made them just a little bit too hard to the point where our gameplay is being controlled by the event. That being said, all you need to do is a little bit of planning and I'm going to share with you the strategy on how to make sure that you can get all of your tasks done and collect your points and hopefully have enough points to finish the road. Now, obviously some of it's going to be luck. If you have a day, this is a decent board because every single one of the um, things on here are in, made in a different machine. The feeding the cat is very easy. Everyone should have a cat. The Blackberry Jam, that's kind of unfortunate, but if you can get that into your machines early in the morning, then you do have enough time to complete that task. And don't forget to, you know, like, don't be afraid to use that like watch and add feature to cut the time of a jam in half. Um, that can help you with producing. That being said, the strategy that you're going to want to take with this event is you're going to want to go and see what your tasks are as soon as possible, as close to the start of the day for the event as possible. Now, I am aware that for some people that is very, very early in the morning um, here on the East Coast of the United States of America, where I am at um, the events start at 4 a.m. I don't really want to wake up at 4 a.m. to see what I got and throw things into machines. Have I done that before? Yes. Will I do that? Maybe. Don't judge me. <laughs> But you don't necessarily have to get up before the morning. I would just say when you get up, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, just check as soon as possible, see what you got. And for other countries, it's not even that early. Like the event starts in the United Kingdom, it starts at eight and in mainland Europe, it starts at nine. So um, it's, it's a lot better in some other countries, but basically, what you're going to want to do is jump on, check and see what all of your tasks are. Now, obviously, you're only going to be able to see six of them. And if it were me, I would not trash 
anything. I would really hold off trashing, like, unless it is something really, really, really terrible, which, honestly, I can't even think about what that would be. Don't trash it. Just look at what you got and say to yourself, okay, summer rolls. Go over to the machine. Don't take the task yet. That is key. Don't take the task yet. Go over to the machine. Throw in three summer rolls. Go over to your um, jam maker. Throw in three blackberry jam. Go to your cake maker. Throw in three strawberry cakes, etc. Go feed your cat because you should be able to do that instantaneously. Um, and then a new task will be propagated on the board for you. Whatever that is, go put that in your machine. Then either walk away from the game or, you know, play other things on the game. Once you have made all three of your summer rolls, that's when you're going to take the task, go over to your machine, and then instantly collect the three summer rolls. And then you're basically just going to go from there. Whatever comes up next, you're going to look at that. You're going to assess what you got and you're going to go and you're going to add that to your machines. Most of the tasks are going to be production tasks, meaning that you're going to have to make something in your machines. Yes, they're going to be feed tasks. They're going to be like feed pets. They're going to be um, for feeding your sanctuary animals as well. Um, so if it was me, I would keep your pets unfed or asleep. Um, I would do the exact same thing with your sanctuary animals as well. Um, if you have Rose and Ernest hired, they do count. So I have no Rose or Ernest like thing on my board right now, but let's say that I had to collect or make seven brown sugars. I could go and throw seven brown sugar into my sugar mills. And then if I have Ernest hired, I would actually then take that task and you could like walk away from the game because as those sugars are made, Ernest will collect them for you and they will count towards that task. Um, same thing with like, if you have a feed, 45 pigs, which is a very common one, you that will count if you have Rose. So you can set her to either collect and feed your pigs, or you know, you can just like go in and like collect from your pigs and let her feed them, but it will count. She's gonna count towards them. Um, and speaking of feed tasks like that, specifically, I'm thinking of the pig one because I know that a lot of us, including myself, got that feed 45 pigs task during the Oktoberfest event. And if you do get that feed task, that is gonna be the thing you wanna do first. So you wanna get that out of the way immediately because that is going to take you the longest amount of time and you can't stack that. Like you can't, you know, you can collect 15 at a time, but you can't stack all 45 and like feed all 45 at one time. So you will have to do that one first. Obviously, it's possible that you could get like that feed test that pops up somewhere like in the middle of the day. But basically like if that pops up, whenever that pops up, you definitely want to be able to take that immediately and get those pigs or cows, etc., fed. With a little bit of a planning and stacking, you should not have any problem um, being able to complete most, if not all, of the tasks here um, on your Mooncake Festival Rewards Road. I personally like these events. I do wish that they would go back to being the way they were originally, where we had um, like more days to complete it or more tasks per day, but... Um, yeah, I still like the style. I still like the style. I like that we're getting some really good uh, rewards in here. The deco is awesome, but and the puzzle pieces are great, but those chick vouchers, 
they are fantastic. So I'm very, very happy that Heyday has been giving us more ways to get those chick vouchers. And I do still think the event is fun. I just think it needs a little bit of tweaking to make it be the best that it can be. So let me know what you guys think about um, these events that they've been giving us. Let me know if you like them, if you really don't like them, if you are okay with the changes that were made, or if you really want them to bring it back the way that it was originally. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope that this event brings you nice and easy tasks. And remember, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, that is free to subscribe to a channel on YouTube. It'll make me very, very happy. So go ahead and hit that beautiful red subscribe button and tick the bell so you know when I go live when I post new videos. Happy farming. Weeding is life. Peace. It's hey day, it's hey day, it's hey.